game one was a story of both teams really wanting it very hard, but uh, Letran was really so ready for the bottle. The main story at the end of the day will be the fourth quarter, wherein uh, Letran's big three of Mark Cruz, Kevin Rahal, and Raymond Batak outscored the whole San Beda team 30 to 28. Everybody's been talking about the veterans of uh, San Beda. Where are the veterans? You're talking about the AAA, you're talking about Art, Adiogun, and of course the game of Basel Amel. They've been there, they've done that. They're going to do a lot of things for them to be able to win this ball game. It's been 10 years for Letran. They've been waiting for it, they've been wanting it. This time they think they're ready to get it. Another mano a mano bakbakan between San Beda and the Rams. Mula po dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa Pasay City. It is game number two of the NCAA Season 91 Finals featuring longtime rivals Colegio de San Juan de Letra Knights and the five-time defending champions, San Beda College Red Lions. First quarter, sa pagitan ng San Beda at Letran, the Red Lions still find themselves up by seven. Off to De La Cruz, the spin by Arthur. De La Cruz with that one-hander. Eight to shoot, Balanza fires. And he gets the bounce. That's a pure tenacity on the part of the Lebron Knights. Fast toss over by the Ant-Man, and the jumper is good. Para kay Mark, na iba ba ang alamangan? Sa atlo. Kanya ng Kumpianza. Speaking of Kumpianza, Mark has the cut. Oh! For the very first time, when the underwater club line up, four straight baskets, Darai Jamie Mogon. Will Letran finish it off or will San Beda force a game three on Thursday? on the part of Coach Jamai Karin and the San Beda Red Lions na may agpag ang kupunan ng San Beda. Dumating na ang oras ng pagtotoos, ang huling laro, ang huling pagkakataon para maging bahagi ng kasaysayan. Ngayong araw, dalawa sa pinakamagaling na kupunan ang sasabak sa pinakamabigat na pagsubok sa larangan ng palakasan, ngunit isa lamang ang hihiranging kampiyon. Ito ang Game 3 ng Final sa NCAA Season 91 at pinabati namin kayo ng live mula dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa lungsod ng Pasay kung saan kasulukuyang lumilikha ng ingay ang San Beda College na nagnanais na mapatagal pa ang kanilang pag at maging unang kampiyon sa kasaysayan ng liga na manalo ng anim na magkasunod na titulo. Sa kabilang panig naman, ang Colegio de San Juan de Letran ay nagtatangkang makamit ang titulo na huli nilang napanulunan noong taong 2005. E inyo pong napapanood ito ng live sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action sa Bulls HD, Sky Cable Channel 195. At binabati din po namin ang lahat ng aming mga kababayan watching from all over the world via the Filipino channel and to those watching via live streaming sa tfc.tv at sa sports.abs-cbn.com. Mabuhay Pilipinas! Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas. Matalas nating marinig sa NBA at sa iba pang American sports. The best two words in sports 
is Game 7. Pero dito, sa larangan ng Philippine Collegiate Sports, the equivalent of Game 7 is Game 3. At ngayong araw, ating mapapanood ang isang epikong laban sa pagitan ng dalawang rivals, San Beda at Letran, for all the marbles dito sa championship ng NCAA Season 91. At makakasama natin to break down itong bakbakan ng San Beda at Letran, Coach A.G. Alan Gregorio. Magandang hapo ng ton. And you know, this is the most important basketball for Season 91. NCAA Finals Game Number 3. And we will break it down. This will be very, very exciting. And we have more stories and insights to tell. Doon 2012 and 2013, limang beses nagharap ang San Beda at Letran. For the first time in the history of the NCAA, San Beda and Letran are playing each other for the sixth time in one season. Noong game number one, napansin natin, it was an offensive affair. Nag-ubusan ng bala ang dalawang kumunan. Pero sa game number two, it was a defensive oriented affair kung saan nakabawi ang Red Lions 68 to 61. Well, we can see that in that fourth quarter run, it was 16 to 12. And you have to credit the defense that was played by San Beda against the Letra Knights. You can see three and a half minutes in the final quarter, Letran was held scoreless. So is this going to be the same scoring game? If it's a low scoring game, people say it's to the advantage of Sanbeda. If it's a high scoring game, Letran will win the championship. Ngayon naman, tignan natin ang mga numero sa game number two at kapansin-pansin ang bilang ng shot attempts ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran. 84 shot attempts ang tinira ng Knights samantalang ang Sanbeda naman just took 50 shots in that game. Well, the most important statistics we have, we have here is the field goal. We can see what struggle Colegio de San Juan de Letran had. 29%, 33% was from two field, from the two-point field goal. Rebounding, 17 advantage para dito sa kuponan ng San Beda. And turnover points, as usual, always to the advantage of Letran. Number one, dito sa NCA ang Letran pagdating sa points of turnovers. Kaya lang sa game number two, kinulang ang Letran sapagkat they only tallied 22 turnover points when they average a shade over 24 turnover points per game. And speaking of turnovers, yon ang naging malaking problema ng San Beda sa game number two. In two games in the final, San Beda is averaging 30.5 turnovers per game. But for the season, they only average 21.9. Napakalaki ng disparity. And that's one thing that San Beda will really have to work on if they want to win this game number three. Look at this. Ola Adiogun is averaging 10 turnovers. Art de la Cruz also 10. J.D. Mokon had a total of 9, I should say, no? Basera Mer, a total of 8. And Dan Sara, a total of 6. They really have to take uh, good care of that leather. One of your keys to victory sa Coach AG's corner in game number 2 was to get production from the big 3 of Letran and more. But you said there was no big three in game number two. The big three averages a shade over 47 points per game para sa Letran. Pero hindi naka-score ang kanilang third-year shooting guard na si Ray Nambata who told me before the game that he played the worst game of his life at this is the first time na hindi siya naka-score sa kanyang NCAA career. A lot of people are saying, you know, that's just the story of the ball game. Ray Nambata not getting involved whatsoever in that ball game. 25 minutes, no points. Zero out of six from the field. Zero out of six from free throw line. And that was really something that Ray Nambata uh, should really work on in today's ball game. Ngayon, nasa game three na tayo, Coach Alan. Let's hear your version of Coach AG's corner for this all-important and deciding game. Well, we have always discussed, you know, that for San Beda to be able to win in, the, in this game, number one, Art, Amir, and Adiogun. The Triple A should have a Triple A game. They should have a show. They are graduating. And this will be their last game for San Beda. Number two for San Beda is top Letran's big three on the defensive end. They were able to achieve that. Score holding Reina Batak to a scoreless ball game. Can they still do that for today's ball game? And of course, number three, that, and it has really helped them control the rebounds, and to be able to score inside. Sa game number two, nagawa nila lahat yan, Coach A.G. Ngayon naman silipin natin ang Coach A.G.'s corner para naman sa panic ng mga Letranista. Well, for Letran, 
ensure a well-oiled offense. Something that hindi nila nagawa, na hindi nila nagawa because of the percentages that they had in game number two. For number two, I should say, is their marksmanship from the outside. No, in game number one, ang ganda ng kanilang percentage, both from free throw and from the three points. But in game number two, grabe, partner, 19% or 5 out of 26 from a three-point range. And number three, it sustained defensive energy. They've been holding on uh, San Beda to 30.5 turnovers, and if they can do that, it will give them a better chance of winning the final. Well, for the side of Letran, they only check one of those three points sa Coach AG's corner. They want to have more checks dito sa game number three. Nakasama natin sila buong season. Ang importante ang bahagi ng ating broadcast team, mga ating mga courtside reporters na nagbibigay sa atin ng mga mahalagang informasyon mula sa mga huddles ng bawat kupanan. Reporting today for the five-time champion, San Beda College is the brains behind the bench, Siege Tantenko. At para naman sa panig ng Letran, Makasama natin ang nag-iisang playful angel na si Myrtle Sarosa. Hi girls! Hi Anton! Anton, kahapon pa nga lang nagsimula na mag-trend ang ating hashtag NCAA Season 91 Game 3. Kaya naman sa mga kapamilya natin dyan na hindi pa nakakasama sa ating Twitter party, huwag niyong kalimutan gamitin ang ating hashtag, hashtag NCAA Season 91. At kami din ni Siege, meron tayong konting rivalry today. Kaya naman kung kasama ko kayo at fans din kayo ng Letra Knights, huwag niyong kalimutan gamitin ang ating hashtag, hashtag galing CSJN. Na Mert, hindi magpapahuli ang Red Army. Kaya kung panik naman kayo sa San Bay Red Lions, kagaya nitong guy na to. Oh, nga, nags nagsama ka pa talaga ng kakampi. Siyempre, <laughs> sa kapitong pinaglalaman natin dito eh. Gamitin yung hashtag galing SBC. Yes, dapat i-tweet nyo talaga sa amin dahil today is the last day ng ating pataasan sa ating polls. You can see the, the results of our polls at sports.abs-tvn.com Yes, itag nyo na rin kami kung meron pa yung mga katalungan. On Twitter, Anton is at Mr. Pure Business. On Instagram, at Anton Rojas. Si Coach Alan naman on Twitter at Coach Alan G. Ako, Twitter and Instagram at DJ Day and I'll be Snapchatting live from wow. this game three, yes. My username is at Siege Tanteco. Mercy go. Yes, and you can also follow me at, at Myrtle Gale on Instagram and Twitter. Yes, with a rivalry this intense, mag-iinit, mag ang social media natin. We'll see you online and you might see your tweets on air. Di ba, Anton? Coach Allen? Maraming salamat, Siege at Myrtle. Speaking of social media, Coach Allen, I saw your tweet this morning. You took a picture of the headlines in newspaper and it read, Date with History. So definitely, we're part of it, and there will be an answer. Who will be, or who will have that date with history after today's ball game? Will San Beda be able to protect their dynasty today and achieve an unprecedented six-peat, or will Letran achieve destiny by recapturing the championship they won in 2005? Yan po ang ating malalaman. Handa na ang ating mga opisyales, Commissioner Coach Bay Cristobal, Romy Guevara, Father Vic Calvo, and everybody else. Dito sa organisasyon ng NCAA Red Lions at Knights, handa ng ilabas ang galing dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Will the red and white squad take home another diadem today to achieve a six-peak? Or will the blue and the red battalion snatch a 10-year drought with a title which was last won in 2005? Today's so tomorrow match will decide. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, happy Halloween from the SM All of Asia Arena as ABS TV and Sports proudly brings you game number three of the championship series between the arch rivals in the longest running basketball league in the Philippines. It's San Beda Letran episode six in your season 91 NCAA the finals. Let us now meet the starters. First, for the five-time champions in next season.
NCAA hosts here are the Sandera Red Lions. Off guard number seven, Boston the Hammer of Point guard number 11, Roll Santa. At center number 10, Ola Abdullah. Forward number 4, Ryusei Kuga. And a power forward number 18, Art de la Cruz. And so to the Red Lions, Frontier Coast. Starting lineups para sa dalawang ubanan. Simula natin dito sa San Beda College Red Lions. Coach na Mike Harid not holding back. Sending in Basera Mayor Yusei Koga, Ola Deogun, Arthur De La Cruz, and Roldan Sara. That's four graduating seniors in the starting lineup. At para naman sa panic ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Mark Cruz starting for the fourth straight game para kay Coach Alden Ayo. He will be joined by Macjor Luib, John Soliano, Felix Aprecu, and K-Rax, Kevin Racal. Ray ng Batak na hindi nakascore sa kanilang huling bakbakan. Game number two will come off the bench today. And game number three is officially underway. Unang offensive possession, mapupunta sa five-time defending champions, San Beda College. Now, Coach Alan, both teams are playing in their 23rd game this season. Letran played 23 games in 2012, season 88. Hindi sila pinala. They lost in game number three sa finals contra sa San Beda. But this is the first time ever that San Beda will be playing in their 23rd game in the history of the NCAA. Well, you know for a fact that every time it's San Beda versus Letran, whether it's in the finals or the elimination, there's just so much drama awaiting everybody watching. Kevin Rakal, una puntos dito sa game number three ng galing sa do it all forward. De La Cruz kicks it out. Koga baseline. Jay and you say Koga. The shooting specialist, formerly from San Pedro College, Alabang. Cruz, pinangkasi Koga, puts it up. May tinawag ka foul. That could have counted if that shot went in. Mark Cruz hearing the whistle. Just putting that ball inside the ring, in and out, two free throws, Mark Cruz. Strong move of the game, brought to you by Smart Lift, the Smart Line. That's the first basket of the game, deepest of game number three. And 58% of the games so far this season was won by the team to score first in a game. So may 58% chance na manalo ang letran based on our numbers. And for the second time, he was a final for the second time in season. At the Gisang 8th Division World Boxing Champion, Manny Pacquiao, sitting at courtside kasama ang Letran Knights. And you know that's just a lot of inspiration for the player. Your team manager, very busy at that. Of course, the congressman Manny Pacquiao is here in the house. Nagtagumpay ang Letran. Nung naroon si Manny Pacquiao, no game number one. Arthur De La Cruz, who had a different level of intensity sa game number two. Put San Pera up by one. Three graduating players on the side of Letran. Two of them are on the floor right now. Kevin Rakan and Mark Cruz. The other graduating player is Ray Publico. And speaking of graduating players, let's get more about that from the San Pera side. 
Pierce Siege ng Tengo. Siege? Yes, ang goal. Six feet para sa 16 yun. Yan ang matayag ng pangarap ng 10 veteran Lions. Kanya-kanya sila ng kwento. Kanya-kanya ng pinaglalaban. Para sa ating big three na si Ola Adiogo ng Marcelo Merat Arzelobos. Umaapaw na sila sa individual awards. Pero iba pa rin daw ang kamis ng pagumpay kung makuha nila ang Victoria 16. For the game, ang paalala ng team captain na sa atin ang opportunity. Huwag itong sasayangin. Para naman kay Michael Torello, who has been with San Bena for seven years, sabi niya, he's playing this game for the Red Army of San Bena community, who has been with him every step of the way. Kakaiba din ang pace ng nag-ibisang rookie senior, si Ice Reyes. Ang pressure daw sa kanya, he wants to make the most of his first and last playing year. It goes without saying that everyone is playing for their family. In the case of Luke St. Boga, this game is dedicated to Tita Rose, who is undergoing chemotherapy right now. Matayos na pangarap, pero magkakatutupan. Maraming salamat, Siege. Ano sa players nga ang pagka-graduate sa panig ng San Beda after this game. Adiogo, De La Cruz, Sorella, Koga, Amer, and Ice Reyes. Pero alam mo to, alam mo to, Jumal, game offerings na binibigay nila. Whether they win it or they lose it, as long as they give it everything they've got in this ball game, I'm sure yung mga kamag-anak nila, at saka yung mga, yung, yung mga kaibigan nila will be very much appreciative na ino-offer itong laro natin sa kanila. Well, one thing for sure, whoever wins and whoever loses, it's going to be one very emotional afternoon dito sa Mall of Asia Arena sa Lungsod ng Pasay at Zong Soliano nakawala at nakapuntos para sa panig ng letra. Three players nakapuntos na para sa Knights, Cruz, Rakal, and Jong Soliano. De La Cruz has four points already in the game. He's only averaging nine points in the last six games for San Beda. Adiyoko missing from close range. K-Rax, Kuminto, Kumina, Puntos! Para sa mga Lefranista. Yes, that's a good, good sign in the part of Lefran. Kevin Rakal, who only scored nine points in game number one here in the first quarter, already has four points. The Knights employing the Mayhem defense with Coach Alden Ayo. Amer, binigay kay Adiogo. Binobo team, Luhit, naagaw kay Ola Ampola. Rose, pinasa kay Rakal, who bounces it off the back of the head of Arthur De La Cruz, or rather, the face of De La Cruz. And I think that's Dan Zara. Panoorin natin muli dito sa replay. Your right coach, A.G. Dan Sara. Getting a facial there. Mula kay Kevin Rakal. An intense atmosphere dito sa Mall of Asia Arena. Anit na minuto at naglumpot. Anit na segundo ang nalalabi dito sa ating first quarter. Sara, his third straight season in the Kembro, the Red Lions, has one more year remaining. Sa kanyang eligibility, as we see, Coach Alvin Ayo, who says winning the championship in 1999 really changed his life. And that is the reason kung bakit siya ay nag-coach ngayon dito sa bakbaka na to. A fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home PSL, the number one home broadband. Kevin Rakal knocking down a long-range bomb. Wala nang mapasahan. Eh, no? So si Kevin Rakal, it was a long pass. Could have been a two-on-one break. But I think it was a little miscommunication on the part of Mark Cruz and Kerak. So after the technical foul, sayang yung opportunity for Letran. One free throw and then ball goes back to some better red line. Wong Pinto, the big man on the point guard, Dan Sara. Sara picks it out. Amer, nakita si De La Cruz sa ilalim. De La Cruz, Hawks. Fakes, pivots, that's traveling. A little too excited. He's feeling a little some uh, mismatches. I don't see uh, Arthur De La Cruz. Though they're playing a little tense. To start this first quarter, I can feel that for Zandeda. Mismatch opportunity Dito. Para sa Knights, Rakal, Tumira, over Sara. Rebound De La Cruz. They will slow the pace down. 
a ver viene de que de la cruz de la cruz un ataque was an open shot on, on the part of Art de la Cruz. Ola Diogo could have gotten that missed that miss shot. Babrik po, ang game number three ng NCAA season 91, laman ang letran kontra sa San Beda, 8 to 7. At nagbabalik ang NCAA season 91. Nung nagsimula ang season na ito, marami ang nag-underestimate sa ating letran night. Pero imbis na to bring this down, ginamit ito ng ating letran night sa Dibos Sabi daw ni Coach Alden Ayo, ang ibig sabihin ng deep of faith, do your best and let God take care of the rest. One of the values na ini-instill ni Coach Alden Ayo sa kanyang mga players is to become closer to God. At sila ay naniniwala that it is their destiny to recapture the championship they last won in 2005. But the Red Lions have been invincible, especially the past five years dito sa pinakaunang collegiate sports league ng Pilipinas. And you know what makes it uh, more colorful, not done? Uh, it's been 10 years. Yes. And that game, they lost game number one, but won game number two and recaptured the title for a winning game in that game number three. Again, that was in 2005. Bon Quinto from way out. And look who's there for the rebound, John Soriano. Really hard working for the Sacobran. That night, Soliano is averaging 5.7 rebounds per game for the Knights. 10 to 7, our big talad. Naman, ang letran. Sara stops, pops, and doesn't drop. Rebound by Kayrax. Rose, umarangada. Rose, binabantay ni Boga. Rose, nakalusot sa baseline. The win for three. Nothing there. Ola with the rebound. Now we can see Coach AG, San Beda is trying to slow down yeah, the pace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Again, high scoring ball game, just like in game number one. 94-91 by Latran. And the 68-61 below the 70 point mark, won by San Beda. So if it's a high scoring game, that's the Latran striking. But slow pace half court game, Yona Gusto. The Red Lions, what a move! Oh, oh, and winning! and finishing with a left hand. And now it's a five-point lead. With four minutes, five seconds remaining here in the first quarter. No, medyo soft ang uh, start, oh, para dito sa kumpunan ng uh, San Pedro Red Lion. Takbuhan na naman. Here come the Knights. Cruz to Soriano. Soriano. Six points in the game. Ito na ang pinakamalaking kalamangan ng mga letronista. Well, we don't see the best execution coming from Zambeda. They're not running it down on transition. They're not getting the rebound. And that's a long shot. K-Rax moving to Tumira, Bitten. Rebound, Boga. Well, four of these guys, four of these guys and Don are graduating. Yes. You've got Yusei Koga, you've got Ola, you've got Art, you've got uh, Pacero Ned. And they haven't been subbed out yet. But Tangwa and Mokon are ready to check in. Para sa mga bebista. Bong Quinto, bounce pass para kay Kayrax. Kayrax, pinamatang bola ang puntos para sa Letran. At meron ang walong puntos si Kevin Rangal dito sa bakbaka na to. You know, I see a different body, body language coming from the Zimbeda Red Lions during the first quarter. Not the same kind of enthusiasm that I, I thought I saw in game number two. Mainit ang simula ng Letran Knights. Strong move of the game brought to you by Smart Live, the Smart Life. Kapos ang tira ni Quinto. No problem, the effort is there. John Soliano with a putback. Letran 16, San Beda 9. Magbabalik ko ang Game 3 ng Finals dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA Kinabas. Ang galing. Hindi pong napapanood ang aming live and exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage ng Game 3 ng Finals sa Season 91 ng NCAA all of the pretty faces have come out today to witness what has been an intense showdown so far and it will surely be epic 
as both these teams looking to be a part of history. Tapi ka na bola, mapupunta kay Orhey De La Cruz. De La Cruz, umarang kada. At mananatili ang bola sa panic ng mga bilista. That, that could have been a clear mismatch. Mark Cruz, knowing what to do, stop the onslaught, stop the dribble of Art De La Cruz. Balikan natin itong galaw kanina ni The Ant-Man. Mark Cruz, last play of the game, brought to you by BLDD Home DSL, the number one home run fan. Actually, Letran with a 30-3 run. San Beda only one field goal in the last five minutes. San Beda had 40 inside points in game number two so far. Dito sa bakbakan ito, just six. While Letran has 12. Mokon, who had 30 points in game number two, is in the game. Bide ng kanyang dress ng batang napulot ang bola. Pinasa kay Luis. Balik ang bola kay Cruz. Tumira mo na sa kanto. Sobra ang kanyang dress. Basera Mayor, may hawak ng bola. Nakarating na po tayo sa huling karabang minuto ng ating bakbakan dito sa first quarter. Caught uh, holding on was uh, Magjur Luib. That's a foul. Some substitutions right here. Luib will be resting and you've got JP Calvo who's been playing very well up to the Anton, you know? So that Copico 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's best latte ever. Mokon, umatake, ng dalawang isip, tinasa kay Tangwa, napulot ng kalaban. Andre Felix is on standby to host the awarding ceremony, which will happen right after this game. Thank you so much to everybody in tweeting. Let's try to make NCAA Season 91 trend today. Thank you, Carlos Ochoa. We're trying to go down low and establish the bigs of the Red Lions coach AG. Well, but uh, Letran has been doing its, uh, its fair share on uh, the defensive end. Helping each other, dropping down. That's why uh, scoring has not really been easy for San Beda here in the first quarter. Bongo sweeps through the lane and flips it up and in. Una puntos ni Ranch Tonko dito sa game number three. And very important for the guards of San Beda to be able to score here in this game. Especially if their big men are having a hard time in scoring. That's going to be a moving screen. Ray Publico, after hitting his first two points just a while ago. Matagal nang naglalaro itong si Ray Publico as we see Ranch Tonko with a master guapa move of the quarter. Watch out for more guapa moves powered by master Secreto ng mga guapo. It's going to be a very good matchup right here. J.P. Calvo, Ranch Tonko, nice defense. And it will be another turnover. Coach Jamai telling Ranch Tonko, give up that leather. Renia, thank you so much. Yes, this is the final clash between Intramuros and Mendiola. The first time also that they are facing each other for the sixth time in one season. Red Lions trying to roar to an unprecedented sixth speed. Letran trying to recapture the championship. Only, only 42.3 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And nine left in the shot clock of Letran. Rey Nambata did not score the last time out. That's going to be his first, his first shot. Marami talaga kinihitang injury itong si Rey Nambata. Swollen ankle, back spasms. At ito si J.P. Cabo, nagpapakita ng tapang. Pero J.P. Bobo, hindi hinayaan mga puntos ang point guard na si J.P. Cabo. Not giving up on the play, although bumawi lang, no? Ito si J.P. Mokon. He had a turnover, he had to rush down, not giving up. No transition offense. It's going to be a sideline inbound or a baseline inbound on the part of Letran. Apreku, binasa kay ng bata. Ng bata, goes baseline. Ng bata, binigay kay Publico, supalpahin ni Sorella. Apreku, wala pa rin, tapi ka ng bola. What a wild scramble for the basketball. Both teams really... Diving hard for every possession as we see this Copico 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's best latte ever. 11.7 remaining, two free throws, Donald Tanqua. It's a penalty now. 
You have to savor this moment. This is the last time we are going to see that connection. De La Cruz and Amer in a San Beda uniform. What about the Ant-Man? Scoring and finding his teammates. 20, Letran, 12, San Beda. Second quarter sa aming pagbabalik. 